It's been a hard week at Queen's Park for anyone who wants aggressive action to address the climate crisis. On the very same day that the IPCC released their report saying it's now or never for climate action, that we cannot increase fossil fuel consumption, the Premier introduced his bill to really encourage people to consume more fossil fuels. I spent this week arguing hard against Bill 111 to lower the gas tax, to, which would incentivize fossil fuel use and take millions of dollars out of the provincial treasury that could be better spent on healthcare, education, and better public services. On a good note, I was proud to say that the Ontario Greens released our plan to double the size of the green belt, creating a new Ontario blue belt to protect our waterways, our wetlands, our moraines, our lakes and rivers. We know that one of the best ways that we can address the climate crisis is to protect the nature that protects us, to protect the farmland that feeds us and the wetlands that protect us from flooding. Finally, this week, I spoke out against the government's bill that supposedly is there to help gig workers, but is actually opposed by gig workers. We need legislation at Queen's Park that doesn't treat gig workers like second-class workers, like what the Premier has proposed. We need a bill that ensures that gig workers are covered by the Employment Standards Act because gig workers are workers.